Hey everyone, today I'm doing another state streak accuracy test on GeoGuessr. It has been a while since the last one, so I'm gonna walk through the way this works really quickly. I'm gonna play 10 games on United States No Blurry. This is the official map used for all world records in the community. That's gonna come out to 50 locations total, and without moving, I need to guess as many states correctly as I can. So with all that said, let's get started, and if you guys like this format, make sure to leave a like down below, it would really help out the channel. Alright, our first round puts us in a city, that is always a good thing. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Hartford. Hartford has it. So we're gonna be in Hartford, Connecticut. That is the capital here. So yeah, should just be there. Not gonna waste time pinpointing or anything, so let's just guess. Good stuff. Alright, pretty easy start. It said Hartford right there on the sign, but we're bound to get some more difficult stuff going forward. Alright, here we go with round two. Looks like an Old West sort of town with these storefronts. Pinos Altos Opera House. Very cool. Yeah, this is some old-timey stuff here. Hmm, what other clues can we get here? This definitely looks like the southwest somewhere. But I can't really see any license plates. Landscape reminds me of New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, something like that. Four corner states, that's the vibe I get here. So yeah, I guess if I can't see any license plates and nothing else has any clues, we're just gonna go for New Mexico, I think. I think that's my best guess here. Hopefully we're at least in this area. Let's, let's see. Nice, it is actually New Mexico. Where were we? Ah, Pino Salsas, that's the town, okay. That looked like a really cool town, had that sort of Old West feel. Awesome stuff. Alright, round number three, let's see what we get. Okay, another city here, good stuff. Uh, looks like the old yellow New York plate, very iconic plates. That could be the, the old blue one. Uh, could we actually be in New York? Yeah, there's another yellow plate. So we're probably there, probably. Yeah, I'm not gonna overthink it, hopefully we're not in a bordering state or something. Uh, I'm gonna go for Albany here, let's see. Oh, way up in Plattsburgh, okay. So at least it was New York, can't complain there. Let's go to round number four. And again, we're in a city, very nice. Alright, license plates here have a tiny bit of, like, a blue tint, in a way. Uh, this one seems like a Louisiana plate. Yeah, we could be there. Let's, let's keep looking, though. This definitely reminds me of something like Shreveport or Baton Rouge. Yeah, I, th I think we're just gonna be in Louisiana here. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything else. Old Hampton. Now, Hampton is a city in Virginia. We, we could be out here. This could just be a random one-off Louisiana plate, and this one, yeah, that could pass for the Virginia plate. Yeah, actually, the fact that we have a front plate on this car, too, I didn't notice that. Virginia does have fronts, Louisiana doesn't, though. I think we actually might be in Hampton here, then. I think I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully I'm not switching away from Louisiana here. Let's see. Nice, it is there. Okay. Never just trust the plates. That's a good example of why you can't do that. And our last round for this seed, we are 4 for 4 right now. Let's try and get this one. This seems more out in the plains or the Midwest here. Got uh, some snow on the ground, these mobile homes and everything. Feels like the Dakotas to me, Montana, something out there. It's a little bit hilly over here to the south. Looks like we have front plates in this car. Now the license plate on this truck, I can't really see it. It's pretty far. Looks like there's maybe a little bit of blue on there, but I couldn't say for sure. So honestly, my best idea right now is North Dakota. I'm not entirely confident in this guess. I could see it being South Dakota, Minnesota, even all the way to Nebraska or Montana, something like that. I think it's in this Northern Plains area though. So yeah, I'm gonna go for North Dakota here. Let's hope for the best. Oh, it is South Dakota, damn. Okay, so we're over here in Rapid Valley. So right now we are four for five, not a terrible ratio, but we've got nine more games to get through, so let's try to keep this up. Okay, let's get into game number two and try to keep this up. We are in another city, very nice. Uh, let's check the license plates here. That is the old yellow New York plate. Definitely could be in New York here. Yeah, architecture checks out for sure. So we should just be in New York City somewhere. Let's just go right here in Manhattan. Nice, not bad at all. Lower Manhattan. Great start here. I think we're getting pretty lucky with all these urban rounds, so we're bound to get some rural spots. Yeah, here we go. So we're on a, probably an interstate highway here. Exit 266 to Solomon Road. At least we have a little bit of information. Not entirely helpful, but at least we've got it. So landscape-wise here, this feels like anywhere in the Midwest. It's a little bit farther north feeling with the trees, I would say, but still really could just be anywhere in here. The safest way to do this would honestly be to check all the interstates for exit 266 and see if it makes sense. I think I might actually do that, just in the interest of getting this right. So we are on an east-west road here, so I'm gonna start scanning all the interstates, hopefully I come across it.
Oh, finally, I found it. Exit 266, Solomon Road. So this is in Kansas. Okay, that took a while. I checked all over the Midwest. Finally found it, though. So farther south than I thought, but I'm just going to click here now that we know it's here. Man, okay, that was quite the struggle. I'm glad I put in the effort, though. We got it was Kansas, so let's go to round number eight. All right, here we are in another pretty large highway here, passing through the mountains. Uh, this looks like California to me, up by the Bay Area, kind of. This definitely has a West Coast Mediterranean feel with the trees and the way these mountains look. So yeah, feeling pretty good about California. Let's just click somewhere like there and hope for the best. Not bad, actually. Nice. Pretty happy with that one. Let's go to round number nine. Okay, again, we're in the middle of nowhere. This is a kind of different landscape. Lots of boulders just scattered about here. Looks like there was a landslide or something here, almost. Uh, this reminds me almost of the Black Hills in South Dakota, in a way. I'm not sure if we can actually be there, but definitely kind of feels like it. Ah, uh, what is this yellow sign? That couldn't be a Wyoming State Highway Shield, could it? it? It very well could be, honestly. You do get reflectors like this in Wyoming, so we could be there. Probably a safer guess than South Dakota, as it is. So I'm thinking I might go for it. Hopefully it's not just the Black Hills. I'll be pretty disappointed if I switch away from there. But yeah, might as well try it, let's see. Nice, it is. So it is actually the Black Hills, just on the Wyoming side. Okay, on to round number 10 here. Let's see what we get. All right, in a town. Very good, very good. Uh, professional pharmacy serving Senla. I've never heard of that, but that seems to be the town name. License plates, I uh, can't really tell what they are, kind of far away, but there we go, we got some highway shields, those are Louisiana's, got the Louisiana outline right there, so we should just be somewhere in the state. Not bad actually, right up in Alexandria. So overall in this game, we got all the states right, really happy with that, so we're up to 9 out of 10, correct? Let's get going with game number 3 here, and try and keep this up. Alright, we are in the middle of nowhere here, but we do have a visible car. This is the car that was used in a few western states, very specific areas too. It was used in Nevada, especially up here by Carson City and all that. Uh, they used it in Arizona, around Kingman and in the west, and then in California too, all across the south. Just looking at the landscape m makes me think Nevada, first of all. Got mountains all around us, really barren, dry shrubs everywhere, so that's a very Nevada landscape. Yeah, let's just try it out and over the west. Nice, yeah, it is up here. Good start for game three, let's go to the next one. Okay, this looks farther north, these trees. Got some sort of birch trees, lots of pines as well. Uh, okay, so we're gonna be on US 141, where is that? I know 41 starts in the UP of Michigan. Uh, here we have an ATV sign, that is exclusive to Wisconsin. Now is 141 here? It is here, yeah. I've actually driven on this road, okay. <laughs> I guess we're in Wisconsin there. Checks out, and there we go. We are two for two so far, this seed on the round three. Okay, again, a sort of middle of nowhere location. This one feels pretty tricky. I'm not sure what this reflector post is. Got some mountains, seems like it's a little bit of an agricultural area. I'm almost thinking Washington. Does that make sense? I could see it, I could see it. What else could this be? It could maybe be... Oregon, Idaho, Montana. I think it's it's somewhere up here, kind of Pacific Northwest. My first idea was Washington here. I'm gonna stick with my gut. Hopefully it is not misleading me, but let's just see. Oh, it is Montana, yeah. That was not a great guess, way far east. So we miss out on the bordering state there. That's okay though, we are still doing pretty well. We are at 11 for 13, I think. All right, next one here, we've got another city. So let's check on the license plates here. Uh, not too sure what these are off the bat, but... Alpen Glow Clinic. Oh, we got some big mountains here, right to the east. That is interesting. What is that going to mean for us? Medicine Creek 406. 406 is Montana's area code, I think. So if we're in Montana and we got mountains like that right to the east, we're probably more in western Montana. I would say maybe Missoula here. Let's give that a try. Ah, no, what is this? Butte. Okay, fair enough. Again, can't complain there. As long as it's Montana, I am happy. So let's go to the last round for the seed, number 15. So we're on a divided highway here. Looks like the Midwest or Plains. Got a wooden stop sign post, which is pretty common in a few states. Wisconsin uses them a lot. I think South Dakota sometimes too. Uh, this could definitely be Wisconsin. Wisconsin uses wooden signs for pretty much everything, and it seems like that's the case here. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. 
Hopefully it's not like Minnesota or something, but we'll see. Nice, it is Wisconsin. The wooden sign trick is really useful. Works a lot of the time, especially if all of the signs are wooden. That's a very Wisconsin thing. So we ended this game getting four out of five correct here. So we are at 13 for 15. Doing pretty well for ourselves. Let's keep it up though. Well, let's get into game number four here. This will take us up to 20 rounds completed. Here we go. All right, we got some uh, clothes and shoes, donation boxes, Italian restaurant. A lot of fall foliage here. License plate here looks like Massachusetts. You do get a lot of fall time coverage, especially in the northeast around Massachusetts. So should just be there. So yeah, we, we should just be here. I'm going to go for it. Not waste too much time. And nice. Okay. Pretty far south there, close to Rhode Island. But we take it. Let's go to round number 17. All right. What do we got here? Ah, here's a clue. So this circle sign is going to be found in Virginia. You do get similar circle signs in states like Kentucky, Delaware, places like that. But this kind specifically is going to be in Virginia. The way to tell that these are the Virginia signs is that they're almost always three digits, somewhere in the 600 to 800 range. So if you see that, that's a Virginia secondary road sign. So yeah, should just be somewhere in Virginia here. Let's go for it. Nice, again, very far south in the state, near Danville there. All right, good stuff, let's keep this moving. On to round 18. Here we got a sign for Moore. I know Moore is in Oklahoma, and ironically, it's mentioning storm damage. I shouldn't be laughing. Moore has suffered through a lot of tornadoes uh, in recent past, so kind of interesting to see a storm damage sign like that. Should just be in Oklahoma here by Moore. Yeah, there we go. One of the most storm-prone areas in the whole world, honestly. Crazy how many tornadoes pass through there. All right, round number 19 here. This time feels farther east in the U.S. Beautiful trees and sort of farmland looking area. Feels northeast, kind of. Uh, we do have a green plate here, which is found in Vermont. Definitely checks out with this landscape, so... Yeah, I'm gonna just go for it. Oh, you are kidding me. It is in New Hampshire. So close to Vermont, but just over the border in New Hampshire. And, of course, the green plate baited us there. That is so unfortunate for us. Okay. So we missed one there. That's all right, though. Last round for this seed. We are in a small town here. Looks like the Plains somewhere. Uh, license plate. That seems like one of the Oklahoma ones, I think. That would make sense to me. Yeah, it definitely looks like Oklahoma, so. Let's hope the plate's not baiting us this time. Here we go. Good. It is not. We are down in Duncan. Okay. So there, once again, we missed another state. That is so annoying that we didn't get Vermont there. So another 4 for 5 here, so we're up to 17 out of 20. Still doing pretty well. That's that's very good. Right, let's get into game number 5. This will take us to the halfway point, and let's see how we do here. Alright, another divided highway. This, right off the bat, looks like Texas to me. Uh, we do have front plates with white, and that's what you get in Texas, so definitely could be there. It's these kinds of trees. I'm not sure what they are. Are they southern oaks or something? But this kind of look to them, especially this one, that's a great example of it. You get these trees all across, like, the sort of western south here. So I'm thinking Texas. Yeah, this, this just has that Texas vibe to it. It's hard to explain, but it's really the trees that does it for me. License plate to check out, too, so we're gonna go for it. Excellent stuff. Right on the road between Houston and Dallas. Okay, going on to the next round. Let's keep this moving. Well, let's check our license plates right away. These look like Ohio plates, the one with the sort of farmland scene. Uh, I think that was a standard design for a while. I don't know what years they were from, but it's pretty common in the States. Uh, we got water over there. So, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really matter where we go. As long as it's Ohio, I'm happy. And we're by Sandusky. Okay. All right, round number 18. We got some more wooden signposts here and an interesting reflector pattern on there. I've never seen that before. Uh, but we are on US 283, that's good to know. So we got a road number at least. Anything else? We do have an adopt a highway sign as well. It's all blue. I forget exactly where 283 is, let's look. Okay, here's 283. Looks like it starts in Nebraska, goes down through Kansas, Oklahoma. Does it go farther north? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Okay, so we're gonna be farther south then. This street sign says we're at road B, and I know Nebraska does have lettered highways a lot. Let's see if they're doing that around this area. Road 730. Uh, these seem more numbered. Let me just quickly check in Kansas and see what they do here. Ah, uh, see, these are letters. F, G. Let's see if we can find B road. Here it is. We could actually be there. Uh, the road has to go through here, but... You know, just for the fact that this does have letters and Nebraska didn't, I'm gonna go for Kansas. Hopefully that's right. Let's see. Wow. Oh man, it is barely over the border. Okay, there's road B that goes all the way through. But hey, it is still Kansas. That counts for us. Let's go to round 24. 
All right, we are in a small town here. Got an interesting logo on these street signs. 76th and Russell. Architecture doesn't really strike me as anything in particular right off the bat. Oh, what is this flag? That's some university flag. Something state. Oh, what is that? It's purple and white. Oh, I really should know what this is. I don't. I don't know. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna kick myself so hard when we figure out what that is. What is purple? Purple and white? Something state. Oh, is Kansas? Kansas state? Purple? I don't know. I can't remember. It's killing me. This definitely could pass for Kansas. I could see it. I could see it for sure. Oh man, it's just annoying. There are no cars here. Not a single one anywhere. Everyone's gone for the day. So, yeah, I guess I guess I'm gonna go for Kansas here. I hope that's right. I don't know, man. Let's see. It is. It is. I'm gonna look up what that logo was now, because I need to know. Yep, quick search for Kansas State. It shows that it is that. I'm glad I remembered that. I was really racking my brain trying to remember what that was, so glad I figured it out. And with that, let's move on to round 25, our halfway point. And wow, we are in Gen 2 coverage. You don't get that all the time in the US, especially when you're not in Alaska or Hawaii. So this is pretty weird. Now I know that within the continental US, Gen 2 is the most common in Montana and California. Don't think we're in California here, doesn't feel like it. Definitely could pass for Montana. We do have a blue license plate as well, which is the standard Montana one. So we should just be there somewhere. Excellent, where was this? Uh, Choteau. And with that, we got every state in this game, so that takes us up to 22 out of 25. Doing pretty well, this is a good ratio so far. Let's see if I can keep it up for the next half of this challenge. Let's go to game number six. Okay, here we go, let's do this. Round 26. Oh, we got some palm trees here. This has got to be Florida. Yeah, Florida license plates all over here. So we're probably just down by Miami somewhere, you would, you would think. All the way up by Palm Beach, but hey, still South Florida. We take it. Next round. Looks like another smallish town here. Let's, let's see what's going down. The factory. Can you solve this murder? Mission escape. Oh, is this some sort of escape room? <laughs> very strange. Uh, taken out of context, that is very unusual. Um, what is what is this place? It seems like a mix of all kinds of things here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, but oh, this is Chesterton. Is this really Chesterton? That is up here, pretty close to Chicago. I've been to Chesterton. Didn't expect that, but yeah, I, I guess we're there. The, hopefully, the sign's not lying. Wow, okay. So what is this building we were next to? We got all kinds of things in this place. A brewery, candy store, escape room. Crazy. Okay, let's go on to round 27. Here we go. Another town. Excellent. Looks like New Jersey plates. This one's actually unblurred. You can get a pretty good look there. You can see the little New Jersey outline in the middle there. So yeah, we're definitely there. There's another unblurred plates. Google, Google lacking on the job. So we're just going to go up here by like Edison. Yeah, that works. Okay. Well, let's go to the next one then. Round 29. Okay, this feels like we're out in the plains, kind of west almost, like Wyoming, Montana. These plates seem like North Dakota there with this sort of orange and then the blue as well. So I guess North Dakota then. Yeah, these are all North Dakota plates. Feels western though, so probably, probably Dickinson or something. Let's go for that. Yeah, it is there. Nice. Let's go. Proud of that guess and let's go to round number 30. Okay, we're in the middle of nowhere this time, but it is beautiful, really scenic. Interesting guardrail on this bridge, got a lovely little stream down there. A lot of pine trees. I wonder if this is California. Could be. I'm just trying to think where you'd get this combination of trees. Yeah, you know what, I think it is California. We do have this black central bit in between the double yellow. That is something you get in California a lot. I almost thought this looked like Oregon or something first, but you'd expect to have wide lines there. But these do seem like the California lines with the black in the middle, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Let's go up here by the Bay Area. Even farther north, okay. But hey, it is California. Glad I got that one done, and let's see how we did. I think we've got the state right every time there too, so we're at 27 for 30. Doing really well, we gotta keep this up. We have only 20 more rounds to get through, that is four more games. Let's try to keep this up. It's gonna be tough, but I'm gonna do my best. Here we go. Looks like we are out west again with these mountains and the trees. Now let's see what else we've got. The license plate on this truck is hidden right behind the stop sign post. That is very unfortunate. There is one here too, that almost looks like a Washington plate. Yeah, we could definitely be there. The wooden signpost would make sense as well. Washington does that quite a lot, so. Yeah, I feel pretty good about Washington here. Let's see. 
Oh, you are kidding me. You are kidding me. It is just over the border in Idaho. That is so annoying. Well, we miss another one. That's fine. That's fine. What are you going to do about that? Jeez, man. Okay. Next round. Well, this says Montana. We don't necessarily have to be there, but we could. Could be there. Let's check the plates. That almost seems like Wyoming with the green at the bottom. Let's check some more, though. Yeah, yeah, I think these are Wyoming plates. So, let's see. If this is Wyoming, maybe Casper? Or, I don't know. One of the big cities. Let's go for Casper. It is Casper. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Pretty lucky to get the right city there, but hey, we take it. Alright, next round. What is this one? Round 3... 33, I think? Wow, this is an absolutely beautiful location. Got these mountains, this really big river as well. Cliff face over there. Really nice. Now, where could this be? Definitely feels more east coast in the Appalachian Mountains. I don't know what that license plate is. It's pretty far away. It looks just white from here. Seems like no fronts in the cars. Hmm, this could be Pennsylvania, maybe? I don't think it's going to be too far south, because we don't really have any of the southern pines. And this architecture as well feels farther north. What could this be? This could be on 80 or 76 or something. Oh, let's say that. I'm going to go for Pennsylvania. Hopefully that's the right choice. Not sure. But let's see. It's Virginia, damn it. Okay. I didn't want to go for Virginia because we didn't have front plates and Virginia has them, but man, that makes sense. That is fair enough. Another miss, but that's okay. On to the next one. This time we are in Ohio. Don't even need to waste time with that. It's just the outline of Ohio on their state highway. On to the last round for this seed. This is number 35. Uh, checking license plates here. Looks like just New York. Yeah, we got some of the, the old yellow plates. So, yep, should just be in New York City somewhere. Let's go Brooklyn. It is Brooklyn, nice. Up in Williamsburg. So in this game, we missed two more states. I think that puts us at 30 out of 35, but we're still doing really well. Let's keep it up and hopefully get the majority of the last 15 right. Here we go. Round number 36. License plate is yellow. Is that a Jersey plate? Yeah, there's another one. I guess we're in New Jersey here. It almost felt a little bit farther south. This is probably southern New Jersey. Either in the Philly suburbs or like... Bridgeton or Vinland or something. But yeah, let's let's go in the, like, Camden. I don't know. It is down here in Vinland. That is unfortunate. Also, any New Jersey heads watching this video, is it pronounced Vinland or Vineland? I, I never knew. Let me know in the comments. In any case, it is still New Jersey, so that's good. Round 37. Alright, what's going on here? Uh, we have another interstate mile marker, but I can't see the number. It's too far away. No fronts on the cars. That plate could be a Tennessee one. It looks a little bit green. Tourist info. Exit 32. So again here we could scan the interstates looking for 32. The exit 32. This almost looks like it starts with a 2. I know 26 is around here somewhere. And 24 as well. Yeah, 26 is here. So I think I'm going to check a couple interstates here. See if I can find exit 32. And if it lines up, we should be there. Let's see. Here's exit 32. That was surprisingly fast. Okay. <laughs> so if that's coming up to the south, yeah, that would work. Now we just have to find a part where this road goes underneath. Shouldn't be too hard to find. It's probably this. Yeah, that's gotta be it. The way this curves around. I'm surprised I found that that fast. That was really lucky. First exit I zoomed in on. So yeah, we should just be there in Tennessee. Nice. Really, really proud of that one. It's so satisfying when you solve interstate rounds like that. Really happy with that one. Let's go to the next round, number 38. Here we're at Welsh Road. And, ah, we got a county road sign like this. Now this you get in Minnesota and sometimes Ohio. But this is not going to be Ohio. Very much so a Minnesota landscape. We're probably close to the Mississippi River with these bluffs like this. So yeah, should be in Minnesota down there, let's see. Words cannot describe how disappointing that is. You're kidding me. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's actually Ohio. I feel like that's happened to me before, too. I was so sure that was a more Minnesota landscape. Man, okay. Nothing to be done about that, so let's just move on to the next one. That is, that is annoying. Okay. Ah, oh, man. Next round here. Very flat. Agricultural area. Oh, this is going to be tough, too. Honestly, kind of feels like Ohio again. Definitely eastern Midwest getting into the east coast. You know, I wonder, this could also be like Delmarva Peninsula. It looks a lot like the Midwest there. And the architecture would fit for sure. I think I might go for it. This is crazy. It always feels crazy to make this kind of guess. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna go for Delaware. Hopefully it's at least Maryland. But let's see. Oh, it's New Jersey. Wow, really? 
That's fair enough, yeah. Southern New Jersey looks like that too. Man, okay. That's a bordering state though, so that counts. Unfortunate, but at least I got the right area, so let's go to the last round here, number 40. Uh, this looks like Florida again. Might even be the Florida Keys. This is really tropical looking. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Keys here. Let's go like... Let's go Key Largo. Oh my god, no way. It is actually there. That is insane. Really happy with that one, so unfortunately this round brought us another two missed states, which means we are down to 33 out of 40. Still doing alright though, that's that's fine. We've got just two more games to get through, best we can do at this point is 43 out of 50. I'd honestly be really happy with that, I think that's a pretty good score. Uh, but let's finish it out, see how we do. This time we're in a city, so we should be able to get this. Artist Ave Station, oh that's cool. We're at 8th Street, hmm, looks like, is that a Pennsylvania plate here? That one seems like a Delaware plate. No fronts, which fits for both of those states. Now, which one is it going to be, though? It looks like we might have more Delaware plates up here. This one as well. So we might be in Wilmington here. Let's see, let's see. 302 area code. Yeah, that's the Delaware code. So we should just be in Wilmington then, I would assume. Nice, there we go. This time it was actually Delaware. Glad I got that. So let's go to round 42. Here we got a post office. Does it say the city? Sometimes it does. Ah, uh, does that say M.O. for Missouri? It might. Let's check other clues, though. Can't read these signs. Permits and licenses. Huh, it doesn't really feel like Missouri to me. These trees feel more East Coast in a way. Hmm, maybe... Oh, is this, this could be Maryland, M.D. That would make sense. This really does look like Maryland, for sure. I could see that. For sure, for sure. I just want to check on a few more things here. I mean, let me see this license plate again. Yeah, that could be the Maryland plate with a little bit of red at the bottom. Yeah, should be. Let's go for it then. Nice, where are we? Out in Lake Arbor. I have never heard of that place, but in the DC suburbs there. Good stuff. Post office came in clutch there. We could just barely make out the state abbreviation. That was huge. On to round 43. Okay, we are in a new suburban development somewhere out west, based on the trees and the sort of dryness as well. Now let's check for any license plates or signs. I don't see much here. There aren't really any cars around. Yeah, they're all pretty far. Uh, this could be quite a few places, let's think. Right now I'm thinking Idaho, Washington. I think this would either be the Boise area or Tri-Cities in Washington. Something like that. It feels like that kind of area to me. I honestly feel good about going, like, Meridian, Idaho. Some new boom town in the suburbs like that. Yeah, let's go for it. Hopefully it's Idaho or Washington, get the bordering state. Uh, let's see. Nice, let's go. It is Nampa, another booming suburb right west of Boise there. Really proud of that guess. Let's go to round 44. Keep it up. Okay, flat agricultural area here. Um, okay, we have this sign. The Oval Circle Highway. I think Iowa does that sign. I'm pretty sure. Kentucky might do that too, but this doesn't really look like Kentucky. Delaware might do that too, because these are the states that have circle highway shields, but when they go to three or four digits, some of them keep the oval shape, but others have it like flat on the top and bottom like this one. So I can't remember which one does which. Man, I think it's Delaware and Iowa that do that. This really could be either of those. Honestly, might be more Delaware. Yeah, from this house, the architecture, these trees as well, it doesn't really strike me as Iowa. If this is Iowa, that's gonna be a pretty terrible guess. Uh, let's go for Delaware, come on, Delaware. No, it is Kentucky, okay. That's too bad. So I guess Kentucky does that as well. I really didn't think that looked like Kentucky, but fair enough. So I was just completely wrong there. Tough rounds. Let's go to... Is it the last one? Yeah, 45. Here we go. Here we got the Oregon Basin. Now, that would tell me we are in Oregon, but are we actually? Let's see. Again, we have these bollards, which seem like the more Wyoming ones. And Oregon does have their own unique reflectors that you would expect to see and not these. So we might just be in Wyoming. This is some excellent bait for Oregon if we're not actually there. But yeah, it doesn't really look like it. I mean, we could be way southwest here where it gets dry like this, but these bollards. I'm gonna go for Wyoming. If it's actually Oregon, that sucks. But here we go. Nice, it is. So even though Wyoming bollards are not entirely specific to the state, definitely still helps out which one trying to guess it, so that is awesome. So in this game we only missed Kentucky, so we are up to 37 out of 45. Best we can do now is 42. 
Let's see if we can get all the states right in our final game for the challenge. Here we go. What's going on here? Hall Spring Hunter's Access Road. What does this say? George Washington National Forest. West Virginia Division. There we go. I have never heard of George Washington National Forest. Uh, but we should be in West Virginia with the sign. Let's see. Oh, man. We are just over the border. That is insane. That is so crazy. But hey, it's still West Virginia. We got the state there. On to the next round. Number 47. Uh, here we got a 401 area code, which I think is the Rhode Island code. Pretty sure, anyway. This is a used car lot, so I'm not going to trust the plates here. Got a school bus. School bus? <laughs> yeah, I think the Northeast uses, like, small minivans and things as school buses. Very interesting. That is not a thing in the Midwest at all. Uh, but we do also have these stone walls, which is a very New England thing. Yeah, that license plate looks Rhode Island, so I'm going to trust the area code and the plates and go for it. Nice, it is there. Two for five in our final round. Let's go to round three here, number 48. Here we got a lot of palm trees. This has got to be Florida, right? Let's see. Any plates, any signs to confirm? These are pretty far away, but yeah, it's just, it must be Florida, right? Come on. Let's go for near Orlando. Hey, it's Boca Raton, okay. Still Florida though, that's what counts here. Two more rounds to get up to 42. We're already at 40 out of 50, which I'm really proud of. I think that's the best I've ever done on this challenge. Uh, here, we got a lot of pale yellow plates. Looks like New Jersey again then. Yeah, should be there. It's kind of hilly here, and we got a pretty big river. I would guess this is maybe more west Jersey somewhere. It's going, it's going 80 out here. Okay, not actually that far west. Interesting. One more round to get up to 42. Let's try to get this done. Here we go. So here we're on a sort of side road, and then we have a divided highway down here. Gotta be an interstate of some kind. Looks pretty dry here, mountainous. Uh, these trees remind me of Utah, Colorado, something like that. So if this road is going east-west, that could put us on I-70 in Colorado or Utah. Now let's see, do we have tracks north of the road here anywhere? Because if we do, then that is pretty good for us. There are tracks here. They could cross over to the north at some point. I'm just struggling to think what other part of the country this could be in, if not this area. Oh, look at this. Here in Utah, the tracks are north. We could be here or something. Yeah, that would make sense. So we gotta have the tracks pretty close to the road here. Yeah, they're very much so following it. And then... We're on a road going like this. Let's see, we should be able to find the kind of right area. The tracks join up with the road here. And then they're pretty far away from it along here, but then they get kind of closer here. But we don't have the side road that we're on. Hmm. And they split up again here. Get closer again here by Green River. And then they go away. Damn, okay. I think I'm gonna go for Utah here. Somewhere on this stretch of 70. I'm not sure if that's right. I think it looks like this here. I'm not entirely sure though. I don't have any better ideas though, so let's just go for it. I really hope it's there. Let's see. Wow, okay, it's still actually Utah, but not the right road. We were on 80. Oh my god, there we go. But we ended up getting all of the states right there in this game, so our final score is 42 out of 50. Really, really proud of that one. I'm pretty sure that's the best I've ever done on this challenge, so now the goal is to try to get all 50. That would be insane if that ever happened. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was educational and entertaining. If so, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.